internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And success, we did it. We had a few challenges of trying to get in here. But my friend in the same time zone, Myrna, is online, yes? Yes, good morning. Nice to see you, Magic Brad. You're down in Austin, Texas, right? Wonderful. Well, it's cold now, but not as cold as Minneapolis. No, it's not. We have, we're having a cold snap, supposedly the coldest it's been in like 10 years or something like that, but I'm used to it. Yeah. It is what it is. Our- our polar vortex means we have 70 degree highs during the day. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing okay down here. We got the same thing, but it's below. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there we go. So I have a niece that lives in Austin. Her name is Desi. And I just interviewed uh, Heather Ravenwood or something like that from down in the Austin area. Oh, very good. So I'm We're kidding. a happening in place. Absolutely. You're one of the bohemian cities like Asheville and Boulder and Sedona. And <laughs> Minneapolis is kind of the throat chakra of the, twin, of the United States. So. There we go. There so <laughs> when I do these interviews, I don't do them too long initially. This is just to get to know who you are and all that kind of thing that I can propagate Wonderful. out to my audience. Wonderful. So the first thing is, who's Myrna? You, have you always lived in Austin? You're married? You got kids? Yeah. You got a goldfish? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> yeah. No, I have an adult son who's 30. So I'm officially an empty nester. And um, yeah, no, I was uh, raised in Silicon Valley and came to Austin because he wanted to finish school here. And that was seven years ago and we stayed. So, um, yeah, no, I really love Austin. It's the most California of Texas. There you so go. <laughs> that explains how I managed to fit here. Yeah. And the, the tech scene's very exciting. I do a lot of business coaching. And so, you know, in the startup venture capital, you know, entrepreneurial way, I'm right at home here in Austin. Is that what you do then specifically? You're a business coach? Well, business and personal coaching. I do both because it turns out that it's uh, people that do business. So there's always some overlap. And, um, but I know part of the reason to talk with you today is I and another coach founded the Austin Coaching Coalition. So we have a coalition of coaches and we're working to get more people coached. So we kind of dig the transformative nature of coaching and we work hard to um, help people experience coaching and the life changing aspects of it. That's cool. Um, my wife is a shaman and she started doing some uh, business coaching, then moved more into the spiritual life type of Mm -hmm. thing but a lot of people don't think that they need a coach because they think they can just read and get educated but in my opinion I think Mm -hmm. oftentimes you need to have someone else be able to see the mirror that you're looking in because you don't see what other people see so you need the coach to kind of guide you yeah well and I think um so many people uh it used to be like in the executive ranks in the c-suite that if somebody assigned you a coach it's because you were misbehaving so you sort of had a professional timeout and a coach would make you fly right So it was um, a penalty box kind of thing. And today, people choose coaching because they know they're going to get where they want to go a lot faster, a lot easier if they've got a coach in their corner. It's like adjusting the sail on a sailboat. Exactly. Why are you going against the wind, against the ocean, against the tides when you could get done in 18 months, which takes other people three years because you have a professional coach. I think it's really cool you got that Austin Coaching Coalition because sometimes people, even though a coach is really good at what they do and a person really needs the help, sometimes they don't match. So it's nice to have Absolutely, and that's where the magic happens is when you have a fit. The other thing, too, is our coalition is different because we have all different kinds of coaches. We have spiritual coaches, Mm -hmm. relationship coaches, business coaches. We have a coach specializes in the e-myth for people that want to follow that methodology to grow a business. So it's kind of a buffet table of coaches, and fit is the most important thing to make sure the magic happens magic brad (laughs) (laughs) that's the way it works get out of that fantasy get into reality kind of thing well yeah and when you have that connection um if you just get that in internal fire not only lit but then it keeps stoking so that you the great thing about coaching is you own what you've learned and apply it in the future it's like adding tools to the toolbox all the time that's designed specifically for you so when you go through a coaching program and it's like steps that everybody does, you'll learn some good techniques and tips, but they're not customized to you. When you work one-on-one with a coach, it's actually what works for you. Do you 
learn better hearing or learn better writing? Do you need to add creativity to your day in order to get through the grind of your work? You know, those are, it's like bespoke coaching and that's the most effective. So in the Synergy Collaborative that I've pulled together is it's, uh, we deal in five different areas. So we deal with career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. And I'm assuming that your coalition kind of has absolutely. people in that, those realms. Very yeah, cool. I, I see yeah. an alliance. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Well, it's interesting. We have one coach who was uh, an engineer for years and then had a really personal disruptive challenge and found her way into coaching. And most of her clients are other engineers because she speaks engineer and she mm -hmm. also speaks transformation. So she has a foot in both worlds where most engineers start with, what kind of poppycock is that? Um, and right. then she can produce results for them because she gets their, their critical thinking. So, yeah. Well, I know that, um, like, again, that uh, the importance of having a coach. My wife, she was a Spanish teacher at the University of Minnesota when I first met her. And then mm -hmm. she decided she didn't want to get, she gave that up after 20 years and wow. got into uh, a business. Mm -hmm. And she just took off because she was being coached by someone that got yep. her to escalate to a certain area. But yep. then she got so much into the business part of it, she sort of lost herself. Oh, so she okay. had to pull away from that coach and she worked with a different coach that got yes. her more in alignment with what she was looking spiritually. And now she's mm -hmm. pretty much doing her own deal and she just grabs yes. from different parts Absolutely. of the tree. Very cool. Well, and I think that's what happens. It's, if you think about it like stepping stones, what's right for me right now may not be right for me 18 months from now because right. I've already done this part. And so the, the, the help that you have now works now. It may or may not be working in the future. It doesn't make it wrong. It means everyone's evolving, which yeah. is the right direction. Life is dynamic. If it was digital and we knew it was going to happen before and after, it wouldn't be exciting, would it? So you got to have well, change. We, yeah, we have to figure out how to perform better because the robots are coming. So we need a competitive advantage with the robots. Yes, the sentinels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very true. Uh, part of uh, our mission is to move the online chatter back into real life activity. And uh, rather than me flying down to Austin and having coffee with you, this is a yeah. better way of doing it. Although we That's had some challenges, but we did. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, um, so much of coaching is happening online now and dissolving yeah. the geographic barriers just gets people more access. And so um, we want to give people access to coaching. So we do a lot of speed coaching around town. People get one challenge and when they work on it with a coach for 15 or 20 minutes and they get an order portion of coaching and find out, oh my gosh, you helped me shift my perspective or you gave me permission to do the thing I've been thinking about doing for six months, but have taken no action on. So yeah, so it can really introduce people to the power of coaching. We love that. Well, before I ask my final and favorite question, could you <laughs> share a little bit how to get a hold of you and how to get involved with the coalition or how to contact the coalition if someone from around the world wants coaching oh, with you? or Thanks. The, yeah. So uh, www.austincoachingcoalition.com, just as you think it might be. Easy. And then you can reach me directly at the W's and then myrnacoaching.com. There's a little calendar picture. You can click on that. We can schedule a, a call or a Skype session. Yeah. Sounds easy, breezy, cut and clean. That's good. Okay, here's my favorite question. I ask it to okay. everybody, and that's the big why question. Why is it you're doing this as opposed to why aren't you like a ski instructor or a paratrooper sure. or why didn't you join the Air Force? Why are you doing yeah. this? Well, you know, I was a business consultant and a single mom for years, but I also have taught meditation for 40 years. And so once I had an empty nest and I wasn't, you know, having to pull the family wagon financially, and I could do what I wanted with my time and my money, which was very freeing. Um, I thought, what could I combine my business consulting and this meditation teaching I've done for years so I could really help people transform in the direction of their dreams? I have had a very dynamic business coach that helped me start a mortgage company years ago. We thought it would take us a year. We were signing the copier lease in 90 days and hiring loan officers. So I had the personal experience of that kind of kerosene fire moment where a couple of months with a coach and that in 90 days, we did what we thought would take a year. So I turned to coaching a few years ago to kind of combine those two things. So business and personal coaching. Some of my clients want to know about meditation, mindfulness, EFT, and some of them do not. And so I work with clients where they are to help them go where they want to go. Okay, well, I heard in there the, the aspect of helping people, which is what yeah. I, I hear from everybody I ask the why question to, for the most yeah. part. Sometimes people talk about, you know, the money, 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 and 
Um, but for the most part, yeah. they're looking to help other people. So there's hope yeah. for the world. Da, da, da. Well, and also, <laughs> if you can earn money and be transformative, that's a double whammy, right? You can do all kinds of things to earn money, yeah. but when that's really fulfilling, it's really wonderful. you gotta got to be able to pay the bills. Yeah. <laughs> that's what Thank I'm you, saying. Magic Brad. It was well, wonderful to meet you today. I appreciate you spending time at Synergy Cafe and working with the Synergy Collaborative. So peace, love, and happiness. I'm going to sign this one off, and I'm gonna, then what happens is I put this up to YouTube, and then I propagate it out to platforms and blogs and social media, and we get it out to the world, and hopefully the, the robots will connect people. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Thanks, Brad. Okay. Thank you.